today in this video i will show you how you can bar silhouette of checkbox so here i will make it custom code and i will go to the visual studio code to make this code uh, so first of all i will create a checkbox so input type checkbox and i will bind the check property of this input element so square bracket with square bracket to bind and check equals to a variable name is checks you can write any name of this variable and now i will copy this checks variable and uh, in the ts file first of all i will scroll the page and below the ng on it here i will paste the checks variable and i will set the check type is true check, sorry check value is true so now i will go to the browser so here you can see the check box and the check box is selected because i set the checks variable value is true and i use the checks variable into the check property that means the check attribute is not true and the similar way i will create more than check box so i will write a break be attack to break this check box and that is more than one check box and now if i go to the browser so you can see all the check box are selected because the check variable equals to variable name is checks and the checks variable is true here so that means all the check box is now checked and if i set here value false so you can see all the check box are deselect so now here i will create a, another check box so and a br tag so when i will click the first check box then all the check box will be selected and if i deselect the first check box then all the check box are deselected so here i will let a function and change event event name is change and function name is bulk you can write here any name of this function and we use change event not a click event and in javascript and jquery we write here this keyword but angular provide us dollar event so i pass here a dollar event parameter so angular provide us dollar event parameter to separate this event but in javascript or jquery we use this keyword this is a similar of this keyword now i will copy this bulk function and here i will paste and i passed here dollar event parameter to separate this event so here i have to pass the parameter also to similar the event so i will write the parameter name is e you can write any name of this parameter so now i have to write a if condition so if e dot target dot checked double equals to true so that means e dot target that e is the similar of this parameter so that means when i will target this check box so target is separate the event so when i will target this first check box and the first check box if check true then the checks variable so this dot checks variable equals to true so when the first check box is true then the checks variable is true checks variable means all the input type because i said the checks variable into the check property of all the input type so when the first check box is true then the all the input type is true and the else function
and in the else key uh, condition all the checkbox is false and in the html file i will save it and also ts file i will save and i will go to the browser so now if i click the first checkbox then all the checkbox are selected and if i deselect the first checkbox then you can see all the checkbox are deselected so this is the box select and we use it in table for deleting uh, the multiple rows uh, in one time so hope guys this video is helpful for you and if you like this video then please subscribe and if you want to get more angular videos then press the notification bell icon also